I figured I would do a review of my three uh, Ecotec Radeon XR15 G6 Pros. Quite a mouthful. Um, so these lights, I've had them on my tank now for uh, six months, I want to say. And they replaced uh, a Kessel A360X and two Hydra 32s from Aqua Illumination. So I've had, you know, plenty of different lighting that I have utilized. And I do like these best. Um, and I did, but I did have a little issue with them at first. So I'll kind of get into it um, as I go here. So the first thing I, I want to address about these lights is at the top, very top of my Rockscape, the par level that I'm seeing, and again, Ecotech fanboys, don't take me to task and you know tell me that I'm wrong about this or I'm not doing this right. This is my experience, all right? I'm not slamming Ecotech. I actually like Ecotech and respect Ecotech. So um, I chose their product, right? So at the very top of my Rockscape, which I would say is 10 or 11 inches above the bottom of the tank, where, right along the top where the... Uh, where the SPS is, I'm getting about 300 par, and I have these lights at an intensity of about 85% with all channels maxed, right? My tank's 20 inches deep, 20 and a half, 21 at most, um, and then I have a standard uh, Ecotech light mount for these. So with the standard Ecotech light mount um, for multiple lights and a standard Waterbox 4820, at 85% intensity, which is pretty dang strong, I'm only getting about 300 par along the top um, with my par meter. And I borrowed a, a second par meter and tested it, by the way, came out with the same result. Um, in the middle, I'm getting like between 200 or 250, depending on like what tier I measure it on. And then in the corners, I'm getting like you know, 150. So, you know, some, something along those lines, maybe 100 in a shadowed area or whatever. The light spread on them is great. Um, you know, I only have the three lights. I don't have any lights flanking it. I'm sure I could get better growth with that, but I've been super happy with the spread. Um, they, it seems to bounce off the glass, which was something that they were trying to go for, uh, by widening the angle from G6 to G5. And I think it's true. I've seen G5s before, and those reportedly have better intensity than these, which I'm not surprised at because I don't find these to be very intense lights. Now, I know SPS can grow at way less than 300 par, but to get maximum growth, a lot of reef keepers want 300 to 400 par on SPS. So just understand, you know, even at 100%, which is what I initially set them to, it was still like three, 350 par at the top. I wasn't touching 400 when I cranked them all the way up and I didn't want to run them cranked all the way up. Um, that makes me nervous. I don't, maybe I shouldn't be nervous about it, but I don't want to be taxing the bulbs at a hundred percent or the, or the diodes or whatever they are, um, all the time. So as you can see, it's pretty sleek. Uh, I got some core management to finish up over here. Don't judge me, but, um, pretty sleek setup. I got a bar that was a little bit longer because I actually like the look of it coming out uh, from the corner, but normally this mount would just be rounded. I just liked how it kind of squared out if I got a little a little longer bar that goes across the top. And um, the coloration is amazing. I mean, there's so many different combinations you can do, but again, keep in mind, if you're pulling back individual channels to get a, a unique look, you're lowering the overall intensity of the light. Um, so I have most of my channels pretty high. I think I have red and green lower than the rest, but everything else is basically maxed. And I love a white look to my tank. I love a natural look to my tank. I'm not a black light party guy. I know most reef keepers are. So if you're looking for that black party light look most of the day, like I only have that look in the evening when the tank's going to bed, um, I would go with the blue version, right? That's gonna let you crank those channels more and get more of that blue spectrum that you're looking for. But if you like kind of the bright natural reef look that this white look gives, the pros are amazing. I mean, super happy with them. Um, my one quick story about what happened with my lights was when I got my first three lights from BRS, when they would ramp up and ramp down, there was a very audible clicking noise going on. And when I looked closely at them from underneath, I could see micro fractures 
appearing in the plastic body of the light, which was like, uh-oh. What I suspect, and I'm not an expert, but what I suspect is that the screws holding that body to the, to the you know, main part of the light, that plastic body from underneath was, um, they were over torqued, okay? So when that plastic was expanding and contracting, it was causing these micro fractures around these over torque points. So what I ended up doing was recording all of it, taking lots of photographs, approaching Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech uh, very calmly, not freaking out about it, just, hey, this is my suspicion, here's what I think is happening. To their credit, completely credit where credit's due, they immediately were like, let's get it taken care of. And one at a time, all I would do is ship one back. They would verify there was a problem. They would send me a new one. It was tedious. I did it three times and it was over. And now my lights, they run quiet all day long, ramping aside, um, or, or no, including ramping, <laughs> including ramping, super, super uh, silent operation. So no, very happy with the service, very happy with the product. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of shimmer. I have I have heavy flow at the surface going on, I would say, for most reefers. And as you can see, there's a little bit of shimmer, but they're pretty flat, guys. They're not Kessels, right? I had Kessel before, I missed that shimmer. Um, but you can certainly see everything better this way. It's not as, the shimmer can distract, even though it's objectively beautiful. Um, so pros and cons, right? I mean, I got a little kid, the shimmer about knocked her off her seat and now she can just stare at this as long as she wants. And it's better than her staring at uh, TV for that long, right? So anyway, uh, Ecotech, good job on the G6. Um, overall, pretty nice. I hope the G7 for reefers who do get them has a little more focused intensity to it. Um, but these are fantastic, I highly recommend. And uh, based on the service record, if you have a problem, um, as long as it's reasonable, I think they're gonna help you out. So thanks for listening.